I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I have a 1951 Chevy pickup to show you. Now, this truck uh, has been completely restored. Um, it's only got about 136 miles on it since its restoration. It's been restored for some time now, but literally every nut and bolt on this thing has been replaced, replated, reconditioned, what have you. But I kind of want to take you around it and show you how nice it is. Now, this paint, uh, this nice green paint, this is a factory color for this, uh, this particular truck. And it's got this nice, you can kind of see this contrasting gold pinstripe going on here around it. Just goes around the cab, real subtle. All new glass, of course, all new weather stripping. And we're here, might as well point out, these are electric wipers. So these would have originally been vacuum operated wipers, but they're now electric. Nice chrome appointments here. It's all nice. Take you inside the cab here on the passenger side. Now this interior color is kind of a bronzy copper color. Uh, it was not original to the truck, I don't think, but it, it looks nice. They did a nice job on it. As you can see here, and the jams are nice and all the new fasteners and so forth. That's a heater down there that functions excellent. So you got heat in there. Seat uh, is an original bench seat for it, just reupholstered in this nice uh, textured vinyl here. And you'll notice seat belts for three up front. Headliner, also original style. Show you the little dome light works. That's how they work. They turned on. They weren't. They didn't. It didn't come on when the doors were open. But that's how they. Take a look at the shut lines here. Nice and straight and even. Very nice. All the, again, you know, weather stripping and so forth. Just point that out. It's nice. The bed is all original except this piece here was replaced and the tailgate was replaced. Otherwise, original bed. And you'll notice this is, uh, this is nice oak wood planking. And, of course, the bed strips painted uh, to match the truck. And all of the stainless fasteners on there, too. So they did a really nice job. This welting here, everything is just so nice on this thing. These are nice new rubbers you can see. Tail lights are nice. All the chrome is nice. This one carried the spare right here. So there's a old original style spare. I probably wouldn't use it, but. As you can see now the paint, this is a base coat, clear coat paint. So this is of course better than it would have been originally from the factory. But again, this is the original color for the truck and the paint is nice and deep and glossy. Uh, now while we're here, let me show you the wheels. Notice this uh, nice little pinstriping around here. That matches into that cab, ties in nicely. These are uh, a poly glass, wide white tire. And of course they're all new, but you know. Uh, Chevrolet hubcap. Wheels have been powder coated. Everything's new. The frame is, this is a complete frame off restoration. And if you go to the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, I've got pictures there of, uh, you know, the restoration that you can kind of see. I mean, they're not the greatest pictures because they're actual, you know, handheld photographs, but, uh, you know, you can see this, the bare frame all by itself, all the way up into being painted and and the cab and so forth. Very nice. You need to look at that. Take you inside here. Show you this side. Some, I'm, let me jump in here because I want to show you this real quick. All the gauges work. These are all original gauges. Speedometer. Now check this. See this? This is your little heater control. I want to show you this. Just turn the, I just, look at that, lights up. Hear a little heater motor running there. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I thought you might like to see that. Uh, emergency brake works great. Horn. Horn works. Might as well show you under the hood here. Uh, 
nice chrome front grille. Probably originally this would have been painted either white or body color, but you know, this nice chrome adds to it. And of course the bumper and, and this nice uh, pan behind the bumper, really nice shape. Let me show you under the hood here. Now, this truck originally in 1951 would have probably been equipped with a, a 216 straight six, six cylinder, but this has been upgraded here to a 235, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit better, a little more power and so forth. Uh, notice the alternator here. This has been converted to 12 volt. Uh, also, all new wiring, all new fuses. All the lights work. It's got turn signals. So there's been some nice little upgrades here uh, for this truck. Uh, just in addition to how nice it is, some some nice things for drivability as well. But as you can see, the firewall and so forth painted nicely. Transmission as uh, original truck four speed. So you've got a granny gear, and then you go down into that you know normal first gear, second, third. Uh, reverses over to your left and down and, and that's how they were and that's all been rebuilt as well. So what I'd like to do now is I'll jump in the truck, uh, start it. I mean this thing almost starts before you hit the key and I kind of mentioned that you know in the text ad but it's true I, I don't think I've ever seen a car start as quick as this thing does. But at any rate um, let me jump in I'll drive it around the parking lot so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like under its own power. A couple other things to tell you about real quick I was just thinking of, um, you know, with this truck, all the glass, brand new, all new glass, uh, you know, windows roll up nice. Um, even the cigarette lighter works. Uh, this is, thing is just, just as nice as it can be, you know. I mean, it's just, a, if you want an original style truck that hasn't been messed with, I mean, and this is a great truck. Again, you know, all new weather stripping. The dash is nice. You got electric wipers. There's the air conditioning right there. Um, you know, glove box is nice. Yeah. Uh, if there's any other questions you might have about this truck, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean. This is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.